Welcome to the Guide Dog Foundation Lecture Series. This next section discusses structured play. Structured play is a good way to improve your bond with your dog. Play provides much needed interaction on days when you do not work your dog and is a fun way to practice obedience skills. First, you must choose the proper toys to play with. Toys should not look like anything you may encounter while working with your dog. They should not resemble personal items that you would normally not want your dog to chew. They should be large enough not to pose a choking hazard and durable enough not to be readily chewed apart. They should not be made from materials that could be harmful to the dog. Examples of suitable toys are wolf-sized or larger nyla bones, large kong or similar large rubber toys, and sterilized or hardened bones. Examples of unsuitable toys are frisbees, balls, and other throw toys used for recreation by the general public, rawhides, which may cause stomach blockage if ingested and encourages dogs to chew leather objects, socks, old shoes, and sticks, which are a choking hazard and could cause injury to you or the dog if it is running with one in its mouth, soft plastic squeaky toys, dogs can ingest the squeaker and parts of the toy, bones, which can splinter, and pull toys, which encourage aggressive play, and gummy bones, which are too soft. Some dogs enjoy retrieving and carrying plush toys made for dogs. These should not be left in your dog's possession until you are sure that they will not destroy them. Here are some games to play. Toss and fetch. Have the dog sit and stay and toss the toy low to the ground. Encourage the dog to fetch the object once it has stopped moving, giving praise when your dog brings the toy to you. Stay and fetch. Same as toss and fetch, but have the dog sit and stay as you place the toy away from the dog. Make the dog stay until you have returned and praise the dog for staying. Work obedience and control into the game. Maintain the alpha role with your dog. Make sure that your dog brings retrieve objects directly to you. Play with your dog on a long leash or rope if he or she needs to be conditioned to bring things back to you. Make sure that your dog readily releases retrieve toys. Consult your trainer if you encounter difficulties. Search. Have the dog stay while you place the toy where the dog cannot see it. Tell the dog to fetch and encourage him or her to find the toy. Hide and seek. Have the dog sit and stay and while you hide. Remain hidden and call the dog. Give lavish praise when your dog finds you. This reinforces the recall. Here are some things not to do. Do not allow your dog to play keep away with you. Do not play tug of war with toys. This encourages aggressive use of the mouth and dominance play. Do not encourage your dog to play in excessive heat or to continue playing when it is tired or overheated. Do not exercise the dog directly after eating or drinking. If your dog is panting heavily after exercise, do not give it water until it has had a chance to settle down. Remember, play that is initiated and directed by the handler improves your relationship with your dog. For questions or to learn more about the Guide Dog Foundation, visit us at guidedog.org.